The first thing that pops into my mind, and probably all of his students' mind, is that he is certainly one of the best teachers, if not the best teacher that I've ever had. He's never too busy to talk to you. If you go by his office, the door is always open. He really, to me, was one of the people that was truly a friend on the faculty. He um, really cared about what we were doing and what we were studying and learning. He's the type of professor that you can just walk up to and start a conversation. The thing that stands out about John and his personality and his character is his, his passion for teaching and his focus and, and love of helping students learn. His, his nature is driven by a desire to do what's right for students. Everything is motivated by the student, for the student to make a great student experience and to have the students um, learn the most they possibly can while they're in this short window of time with us. After receiving his PhD from the University of California, Berkeley, John Berg joined the University of Washington in 1964 as an assistant professor of chemical engineering. John quickly built a reputation as an enthusiastic and devoted teacher and a leading edge researcher. John is known you know, a, a, across the nation and, and internationally for the work he's done in surface and colloids. Most importantly, and what's most unique I think about John, is he takes that and he applies it to real world challenges and problems. The buzz about nanotechnology really is founded on work that people like John have been doing for decades. John's been here 50 years and he is one of the leaders in figuring out how molecules can connect to nanoscale objects and make the kinds of products that we come to think of uh, in cosmetics and paints and the sticky stuff in post-it pads. John has advised 50 doctoral students, hundreds of master's students, and had a life-changing impact on countless undergraduates. Teaching is John's passion, reflected in his best-selling textbook, An Introduction to Interfaces and Colloids, The Bridge to Nanoscience, written with the same clarity as his infamous lectures. I view John as really one of the people that founded the field of nanoscience and nanotechnology, uh, and this book is really embodying uh, those 50 years of work in that area. He is highly regarded, highly respected. Um, that's why I was sent his way as a graduate student because my professors knew who he was at the time. He has a knack when he's teaching of just finding really good ways of explaining very difficult and sometimes very complex topics. His notes are better than, than most of my textbooks. I know for a fact that I refer to my notes from his fluid mechanics class more than I refer to any textbook because the notes are so thorough and well organized that anything I need to know is right there. He's just absolutely a fabulous professor. He, he's, he really cares intensely about his students. He cares about imparting his knowledge on uh, surface science and surfactants. For many UW chemical engineering graduates, their time in John's surface and colloids lab stands out as a unique and invaluable experience. Through the years, it has transformed from a small specialty course to part of the core curriculum. He's been an example of one of those kind of people that has completely integrated the research and scholarship his laboratory does with the, with the educational mission to educate undergraduates, graduates, and research students. It's one of those unique you know, classes, labs, that uh, everyone just wanted to, to be a part of. But what also I still find, you know, 30 years later and through my whole professional career, what I learned in that class has just been fundamental and foundational for so many things that I do. John's dedication to his students extends well beyond the academic setting. Ask former students about their favorite memories at the UW, and they'll often cite his afternoon hikes and famous Fridays at the college and pub. He's one of the people that the students keep in touch with. It's hard to define how, but he had a profound effect on us. I'm proud of the fact that um, we're still connected, that uh, we're, we, we're friends, that this person that I've respected for so long and so many years that we have this comfortable, easy, casual, you know, friendship that's gone beyond just being a professor and a student. It is difficult to measure the many achievements of John's 50 years at the UW. 
John Berg's influence began in lecture halls and extended to the research lab, the corporate boardroom, the halls of academia, and in classrooms around the world. His success is evidenced in the lives he has touched. That is remarkable. You don't have that many chances to say how much you actually admire and aspired to be like a colleague. And John is one of those people where when you um, meet him as a young professor, you say, wow, look at the impact somebody can have by doing this kind of a job. The real lasting impact John's had on my career is he taught me how to think. I'm even starting to go, boy, I'm starting to sound like John, you know, 31 years later. So he's had a huge impact on both helping me get a job, supporting me through my career, and really giving me the tools that have allowed me to be successful. Thank you.